George, the curious little monkey. Curious George takes a ferry. That was Mr. Hopkins, George. He's invited us for a visit, said the man with the yellow hat. Let's take the ferry over to his house. They got into their little blue car, drove along the edge of the river, and soon came to the ferry. There was a long line of cars waiting to get on the boat. A crewman turned a crank and the back end of the ferry opened. One by one, the cars drove right onto the deck and parked there. The little blue car was the last one on. On the deck, George and the man with the yellow hat met a little girl named Ruthie. Have you seen my dog Floppy, she asked. I can't find him anywhere. I'm going over to talk to the captain, said the man with the yellow hat. Have a good look around, George, but don't get into trouble. George started to walk around the deck. There were stairs leading up to a door. What could be up there? George was curious. He climbed up the stairs, pushed the door open, and went inside. This must be the place from where the captain runs the boat. There was a big steering wheel, and next to it was a strange thing with a brass handle. What was the handle for? George was curious. He pulled it until it came all the way around to where it said, full steam ahead. A bell rang, the motors made a grinding sound, and the ferry started to go. The passengers were surprised because the captain was still on deck talking to a man with a yellow hat. Who was running the boat? It was George. He was having a great time. He moved the steering wheel slowly at first. Then he began spinning it faster and faster. The ferry began sailing round and around. The captain rushed in. Who the devil is fooling around up here, he shouted angrily. As fast as he could, George escaped through the window and climbed to the top of the flagpole. Now George felt safe. From the top of the flagpole, he had a wonderful view of the whole river. There were tugboats and barges and even some sailboats. But what was that? It was a dog. That must be Floppy. He must have fallen off when the ferry started. And now he was trying to climb back on board. But the deck was too high. George knew what to do. He slid down the flagpole and ran to the back of the ferry. Then he turned the crank that opened the back end. Down it came, right into the water. There's that monkey again, shouted the captain. Somebody catch him while I close the back. Wait, cried Ruthie. Leave George alone. Floppy's in the water. George slid down the back, reached into the water, and pulled Floppy out. I'm so glad he's all right, George, she said. You saved his life. You're right, said the captain. I guess that makes up for all the bad things you did. Uh, come with me and I'll show you the right way to steer, George. The captain let him steer the ferry with a little bit of help. When the ferry landed on the other side of the river, the captain turned to George. Come back anytime, he said, as long as you remember who really runs this boat. George and the man with the yellow hat waved goodbye, and off they went in their little blue car. 